Brought to you by Active Business Advisory, of course. Thank you very much. The greatest uh, financial planners and accountants in the accountants in the world. Hey, strange times to be doing a live video. Don't Is imagine uh, there will be a lot of people jump on at this time slot, Davo. I don't think so, unless someone's just randomly sitting there and going. Let's just open Facebook and LinkedIn and yeah. see what these two clowns are talking about or talking to. We have, we have something very special down here, don't we? We have a very special guest today. Um, it's solid. It's heavy. It's solid. And it's real. Like it, can't, it doesn't... You can, can sort of hear it. Can ding, you hear ding. Does anyone know what it is? You guess, well, you've got it in the <laughs> description there. Oh, yeah, I did too. <laughs> I wonder what it is. <laughs> Hi, Michelle. Hey, Michelle, guess what we've got? Not a bag of unlimited Tim Tams. And it's funny, like, I mean, build it up a little bit okay. because you and I, did, I'd been working here for a long time and defying all orders of spending time with people in lockdown, I was able to be here because of work yep. permits. And we were lucky enough. We were one of the lucky few to be able to celebrate watching the Premiership That's from right. Melbourne together. Yeah. Which was great. It was awesome. Um and then you sort of, I think, go back 20, 30 years of our lives and it's been part of our, can I say, lexicon, part of our yeah. our zeitgeist, part of our everything. You know, as young boys growing up watching the AFL and seeing the Hawthorns and the Carltons and, you know, the Geelong teams of recent history in Hawthorne. West Coast. West Coast, of course, won some really great premierships in the 90s, early 90s. Yeah. And it's all about the cup, isn't it? It is. The, the way that... You you look at the cup and see the cup and the way these players see the cup, it just makes you love the cup. It's a, quite of an amazing relationship we have with it, isn't it? It is. So I read this morning about it. I, I looked it up because when you said that there, it could possibly come to my house or to the studio, I went, hmm. So I looked it up. Apparently 1959 is when they first introduced this actual cup. Cup. Yep. It was based on someone watching the FA Premiership, uh, MA, FA Cup yep. final and they'd hold the trophy up and then everyone would go. And so it was this iconic trophy. I mean, in every sport, they have the iconic look of the yes. cup. Yeah. And uh, so 1959, because, who, who won in 1959? So 59 would have been either, I'm thinking a Essendon or a Bulldogs, uh, surely not Carlton. It would have been... This is hilarious. 1960, 1950, well, Melbourne. It was Melbourne. Melbourne, of course. <laughs> Melbourne. Idiots. So they won. I was thinking so Melbourne won, the, Melbourne won the premiership. First yeah. time it was ever introduced. Apparently, it's worth $7,000, but we all know it's worth a lot more oh, than that. It's probably 7000 in terms of it being produced. Yeah. It weighs six kilos, yeah. has solid silver and gold. Really? Yeah. Didn't know that. Uh, and when they first were designing it and thinking about it, the guy that brought it in, which I can't remember who it is, you can look it up on uh, Wikipedia. Um, they he got him to run the other side of the oval and look through the window and see if he could still see it. So right. they were thinking, I think, if I was at the other end of the MCG and we held the cup up, mm. would you see it? Yeah, oh, right. Yeah, you could see it. Well, should we introduce the cup? We should, because this is how it happened. Right? This is how great the Melbourne Football Club is. They rang me. Bring it up. Here it is. There it is. Look at that. That's the real deal. Let's put it forward here so they can. Oh, ding. ding. Jesus, there we go. <laughs> so That'll go down it. in the history books. So you can see it and it's going to throw everything out of, of oh, focus, but that's okay. I'm, Be- a, I'm a fan. I've got to take a photo whilst yeah, I do a video. Totally. I uh, rang Gary Pert, the great man, CEO of the club, who um, so very gracious and giving uh, with our premiership I think they decided without knowing what's happening behind the scenes, I think they decided at the Melbourne Football Club that our people have been starved of this success, starved of anything silverware for so long that we're just going to open slather with it. And you made the comment before, I love how the club have just been so, yeah, take it. Like, yeah, come, have a look at it, be with it. Yeah, I just... Instead of being precious. It's so awesome. Yeah. It's so awesome. It's not sitting in a trophy cabinet. No. It's sitting here. In your room. In, in my your, room. In your study. <laughs> what did I do to deserve this? This is amazing. Oh, you're my mate. So there you go. Well, um, we did a lot of work on to get it into it. Leave it. Well, I think that was a good spot. It's a good spot it? there. I mean, it's better than the avocado. <laughs> the avocado is getting jealous. We had a, 
we have a terrible avocado. Hey, if you guys are watching, say hello. We we just if you just tuned in. Hey, Yvonne. We just happened to get the trophy, the cup trophy, please. Well, and I'm such a says- fan. I'm filming whilst filming. <laughs> You're a nerd. Look at I'm like so double film. I've had it today, right, in my possession uh, this yeah, morning. So what have you done with it? So I picked it up this morning. I'm going to throw it back because it has thrown everything out of focus. Oh, yeah. uh, I, I picked it up this morning from the MCC. Good on you, all the guys at the MCC there. Thanks for throwing it at me. Um, and I've basically taken it on my own little road tour. Um, I went to, uh, to firstly, to my local coffee shop. Yeah. And they were the just C-pins. wigging out. Kids, yeah. And I got a free coffee for doing so. So they all had photos. Oh, they yeah. all had photos. And uh, from there, I went to my son's school. And to see the kids' faces when they saw it, oh, oh. just not, yay, it's here or anything, just absolute deadpan, awestruck, like, yeah. wow, something that's on TV is here. You know what kids are like. Oh. And they all just wanted to have a photo with it. So... That was cool. Um, went to my my partner's hairdressing salon, Priscilla's in uh, Black Rock. Yeah. And people were just coming <laughs> through, having photos. Remember how I said every time you walk into a hairdresser as a man, yeah. you go into a lady's hairdressing salon, you just, it just feels wrong. I reckon walking in today, it would still feel wrong, even though you're carrying even a cup. That, you walk in with a cup, everyone just goes, It was even more rot. <laughs> this is not the right place, mate. Male, what, get out. What are you doing here with a premiership <laughs> cup? This is not a bar. <laughs> Hello, Nikki. How are you? Hello, Barry. Of course. Good to see you too. Someone I see... should give us free drinks. That's right. Yeah, we we need got... to put our uh, non-such whiskey in here. Yeah. Or the uh, Russell's Reserve, of course. See Nikki's uh, profile pic there is with the cup. You were obviously ah. went... she obviously went down to the um, the MCC to the to the to the sports museum, which has brilliantly put this on display for us. The MCC, obviously. Uh, part of the Melbourne Football Club, and they're going to house this for us and look after us. They've all looked after us for a long time. The MC said they've been great. When it, go, when it goes back. When it goes back. And I've got to take this when we're finished here, Davo. I'm doing cheeky selfies. Uh, <laughs> Hello, Ruth. How are you? Um, I've got to take this to Harry Petty's house. Harrison yeah, right. Petty's house. Because uh, it's his turn with the cup. Does it have a time? Like, Do you have like a... Premiership Cup has to arrive at Harrison Petty's house by 3.45. Yes, I've got to be there by 5.30, so I've got to get out of here soon and take it oh. over to his house. I'm not telling you where it is, but um, Harry's awaiting his go with the Cup, so I feel quite privileged that I've had it before Harry, or maybe he's had it before and he's having it again, I'm not sure. But to, to, it is such a privilege to have this Cup. For, I mean, even though it's Melbourne, it's great and everything for me, but just the Cup itself, it's just oh, I know. so awesome, you know. Man, it's unbelievable. Like, this is probably one of the most... I don't know, recognised sporting icons in Australia. Rex at Nonsuch. Oh, Rex. Rexy, thank you so much for an awesome drop. I'd like to say we savoured it. We do. We did, we had one <laughs> we, we, we had one little sip of it and, and then went, oh, wow, wow. we're going to save this for when we're not doing our show. Yes, so we're going to have drink a little whiskey and cigar night in the whiskey room over here. Yeah. Um, thank you so much for a great drop, and we're we're looking forward to tasting the gin because yes. apparently non such was a, a gin gin company first and uh, yeah. dabbled into whiskey as well. Great drop. Um, this cup to the people that have watched this show has been, and it's been awesome to watch over the last month. Mm. This do the rounds, mm. and, and it's almost become more celebrity than the players themselves mm. almost not quite I and mean, these guys will go down as immortals in our history it's the icon isn't it it is it's this the, is this is what we're going for yeah this, this is, is what the we're fighting thing for. that all the players this is and this is the thing that can't be taken away that's right and this is what these people put their heart earned in for yeah. this not for it's me amazing. not for gary lyon not for jack watts not for brad green not for jack viney now and and petrarca For this, because as I said in my retirement speech, we are merely just custodians of the jumper at the time and there's been tremendous players that wore the number 24 before me, Tiger Ridley, Percy Beams, premiership players, superstars, but they move on. And all you're trying to do is win this. So go back to round one of the finals, Geelong versus Melbourne, where was it? Where was that game played? Brisbane. It's played in Brisbane. It was, or Adelaide. Was in, no, the one in Geelong, the one where we beat Geelong with the kick. No, the we, when we did our first, ah, our first. That was the week after the game in Geelong. Or was it Brisbane? Brisbane. You played. It was we did Brisbane. the Brisbane game in Brisbane, 
and we all we had was an avocado. Yep. And it and was look rotten. what we've built. <laughs> <laughs> and from from crappy avocados turns into premiership cups. Yeah. Did you think at any stage, no. round one no. of the finals, Brisbane in Brisbane, Melbourne would win in Perth and the premiership trophy would end yeah. up here and we'd do a whole four weeks and all these people would tune in and enjoy what we were doing, even some of it was on secret. Yeah. Even though you had a permit to be oh, well. to be where you needed to be here. It, it was an amazing ride. And I think that's what's made this so much more special because oh, look, you know, you never you dare to dream and you hope. And but because of our history, we we all, all of these people that are writing messages now and have j- jumped on the show and along the journey, just were waiting for the uh the bubble to burst and for Melbourne of old to return. But it never happened. They just kept no. rolling. We had a dream run. And to see them running around the ground at the end of the game with this, and then to think that we're going to have it in this bloody Because when you're in lockdown, you feel like you're a million miles away from I know. everyone and everything. And now, So we're this is of, the cup that they got. Yeah. This is the one that came back on the plane yeah. and been with everyone, had the drinks, done the rounds. I think it slept with Tommy McDonald one night in his bed when he was in Perth, I'm pretty sure. Doesn't have COVID, does it? Oh, <laughs> it's a few kids. <laughs> Has it been tested? Play. I have got a little. I've got to wash it. There's a little cloth in here. Oh, I okay. wash it all That's the time. So. Um, Vaughn wants to know how do you think um, the best and fairest will go tomorrow, and who will win? Oh, geez, you know, it's a very good question because the best and fairest doesn't usually follow what the rest of the AFL thinks in the the, the Brownlow Medal and Clayton Oliver. I think Clayton will go again. He's he votes well every year. He's won two already. I think Max played third. every round though. He did Some too. T- I reckon he could be um, Max Petrarca. Oh, look at that! Matthew but- Nolan from the moment Robo Live started these shows, it was destined to happen. <laughs> We're so Melbourne-y for us not to be able to be there in per- person to witness. I know it's yeah. so true. It was yeah. like tragic for anyone who's watching this who isn't, because I broadcast this to one of my streams. For anyone who's like international, is like, what are these two banging on about? Um, this is your FA Cup. This is your. This is your FA Cup. This is your uh, Stanley Cup. Super Bowl. It's the Super Bowl. It's the NBA Championship. This it's, is ours. Yeah, this is the our equivalent. We've got one other, which is the Ashes, and we stole it. And we've <laughs> stolen it. Uh, actually... Like as true Australians, we stole it from the cupboard, <laughs> and we're looking forward to being extradited somewhere. We're not sure where yet. No. You, where do we get sent to? Tasmania. We'll get sent to Tasmania where we get to drink non-such whiskey yeah. for like yes. semi there. I'm in. That's what the uh, colonialism's all about, isn't That's it? That's it. Just roll up and steal it and it. display it and say, yeah, we took this from some poor country, but now it's in our museum. Now so. we've got it. <laughs> I will feel like it. Um, yeah, we're so... This can't stay for very long. We nah. really wanted to jump on, and this was our. I mean, we've had special guests the whole way through, haven't we? We've been so yeah. lucky to have awesome guests. Um, let's roll through them. Stephen Tingo, Brad Green. Talk. We've had um, no current day players yet. We've got Nathan Jones coming up. We've got uh, Jack Trengove. We've got Adam Uze. We've had him on. Clint Bizzle. We've had superstars on our on our uh, show, and we've been so very blessed. And today is a real moment. So we jumped on in the middle of the day. We didn't think that we'd get anybody on because we haven't promoted this. And I'm going to no. do a Christmas special uh, next week with you, Dava. Christmas special? Yeah, we're going to sing some songs. Oh. They don't know it. You don't, you don't even know that yet. We're going to do it. Um, and we thought today our I'm in. special guest would be the cup. I think that's good. Well, we were just going to do a random video instead. We should just yeah. do a live and chat to everyone, which is yeah. cool. And if they tuned in and they get to see it, all the Great. more for it. Great. Saves me having to hook up a hard drive because I just, just stream it straight away straight and then away. just download it. Why not? Do you know, what did you say the year was? The first one, 59. 59. So before that, as you know, it was always just a flag. Yeah. So the interesting thing. Oh, you win the flag. My stepson and I were driving into the MCG this morning. He said, so, so why do they call it a flag then if it's a ah, cup? And I'm yeah. like, that's a great question. I didn't know the year, I said, but before, at some point they changed it to a cup. Before that, it was the flag and it was the unveiling of the flag, which will happen on Wednesday night, happen. round one next year. Yeah. Uh, uh, they'll unveil the flag. Did you know? Because he said, because what if someone steals the cup today? 
I said, oh, well, that won't be good, will it? We're going to protect it. He said, but there has been an instance where the flag has been stolen. Oh. Melbourne had uh, one of its flags stolen once, and I believe Richmond as well. Uh, but we got it back. What are they do? Yeah, I was, what happens in that? It was found in someone's garage. And, oh, why would you do that? You have people come over and go, oh, yeah, that's Richmond's premiership flag. Yeah, yeah good on you, mate. Good on you, mate. Wow. Why don't you take it back? Why are you not sharing it with the people? Yeah. It's selfish. Yeah. So this is the cup, the People's Cup this year. If we win one next year, I don't think it'll be as famous as this one. It won't be. Oh. It'll be famous, but this won't one. won't be is, as famous as this, this one. This broke the drought. This yeah. has meant so much to so many, and not just Melbourne supporters. I think most supporters of other clubs is just happy for Melbourne to get one of these. Yeah. Because I feel that for St Kilda now. Do you not? Like, wouldn't it be great for St Kilda to win one soon? Nah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do. You do now. Like I, you know, I I do. I think I think every club should have its have its day. They put yes. in as much as they can. Yes. Um that's why it was important for Melbourne to win it this year. Probably more than anything is just because of yeah, friends and family who are all Melbourne's supporters and sufferers. Before we go, Nikki, Robin, Yvonne, tell us Barry, what does this cup mean to you in your words? Just a little because you can't write too much. What does it mean to you as a supporter? Um, you may have had the chance to hold it for 30, 10 seconds, 30 seconds at the uh, big day we had last weekend, weekend before at the MCG, which was an awesome day, Davo. It um, was. It looked good. It was so good, and we, we did a show about it. Um, so go back to Spotify and to Robo Live on all the uh, podcast channels, and you can watch the special that we did behind the scenes of the big day at the MCG. It was so cool. Um, awesome, awesome uh, opportunities to hold the cup so far, but probably not like for me today to be able to walk down the street. I also, so do you weird. know what I did, Dave? I went down to um, ran corner from our house here so you said you went for a run house. with it I went for a run with it around the streets <laughs> no i went to um a place called hoop city which oh yeah is an awesome place um for basketballers and melbourne united were training and maddie oh, really? delavadova was in there training oh, really? it's closed session you're not allowed to go in but but you had this <laughs> because i was at vince's coffee shop um i got this phone call because i had messaged my mate gazy mm. And pick up that name whenever I just dropped over there. My mate Andrew Gaze. Gaze. Yeah, Andrew, yeah, Gaze. Andrew Gaze. You just get in yeah, anywhere. Just, just Any basketball. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, yeah. Having a closed training session. Oh, I know Andrew Gaze. Oh, okay, not... come in. You don't have to worry about Anybody the Anybody can say that. I know Andrew I, Gaze. I know Andrew Gaze. <laughs> it's the biggest name for basketball in this country. But uh, I messaged Gaze because I'd love to take the boys to uh, the basketball and I want to see if he's going because I want to catch up because mm. he's going to come on our show. Yeah, wow. It'll be year. awesome. Um, and he said, yeah, man, I'll, I'll organize you to maybe sit in a box or something. And I said, yeah, oh, cool. Wow. That'd be awesome. So anyway, I was at the, the coffee shop around the corner here and I get a phone call from the Melbourne United people. And I said, oh, sorry, I'm a bit flustered. I've got the Premiership Cup here with me at, at my mate's cafe at local Italian in, uh, in Sandringham. And he goes, we're in Chillip Street. Bring it here. Oh, really? <laughs> Did you? people that work here, Barrick from Melbourne and, and the boss of the place. Yeah. Barrick's from Melbourne, so... I quickly dropped in on the way, and they've got a closed session training, and it was so cool to see Matty Dolovadova. Oh wow, and, that's cool! And, and obviously, Goulding, who's I just think is an absolute superstar. Yeah. I think he should be in the NBA. Goulding, and unfortunately, yeah. hasn't quite happened yet. But if he puts in another couple of stellar years, um, he, so Dolovadova was playing in the NBA. He was yeah, starting he was fire for Cleveland the Cavs, Cavs maybe? and then I think he finished up somewhere else. Um, but um, won a won a uh, championship, didn't he? With the Cavs, yeah, probably with LeBron. So, uh, what a superstar! And just to watch them train, and Chris Golding gave me the old g'day, mate, because this was down on the floor with their title that they won last year, I think. So, <laughs> so <sighs> someone's saying, Whoever's doing the voiceover, this happens all the time, it's the transcription service. <laughs> it keeps saying Andrew Gaze, not Andrew Gaze, Andrew Gaze, Andrew Gaze. Andrew Gaze D. Does it Andrew work now? Gaze. <laughs> so let's cut this short. This is not meant to be a long video no. because we've got um, not a lot of um, Merry interaction Christmas. from the cup itself. It's um, very quiet. But it's but so cool. commands and a presence. It's so cool. Especially when you're just walking around, you're like, yeah, so I've just got the trophy right yeah. now. So I'm just going to like, you know, drop in on Melbourne United's training session. I'm just going to get myself a free coffee. 
Gonna go and get a free haircut. Oh, that's right. My partner runs a hairdressing salon, so yeah, I was gonna get one anyway. There. Yeah, I um, went to a couple of schools, um, and every kid had a photo with it. It just commands so much attention. Next year, we'll get a photo of this and we'll cut it out yeah. and we'll stick it there. Yeah, and we don't have to have the avocado anymore. <laughs> that's <laughs> right. This will be the good luck thing. Yeah, this avocado has been our good luck charm. I, I tell I you, can't get rid of it. It's staying. Our next good luck charm will be whiskey. Whatever company wants to give us free whiskey, that's oh. – There's a – jump on the Melbourne Football Club website and you will see that there is some um, some Johnny Walker whiskey for sale. Oh, yeah. It's a premiership whiskey, 200 bucks. Um, we're going to buy a bottle, aren't we? And we're going to partake, um, have a few whiskeys ourselves. So without um, further ado, we'll jump off. Just wanted to show you guys because you've been a part of this with us uh, on Robo Live for the journey. Highlight and, of my year. Yeah. Of all the things that's happened in this year, this thing. Not many people right can here. say they've had the real deal Premiership Cup in their living room. <laughs> nope. Wooden, no longer the wooden spooners, that's for sure. So that was what it means to Barry. So that's what I'm looking for. The cup is so special. No longer the wooden spooners, now the silver spooners. Not just the... Oh, they were so close, and then they drop off for 10 years. Yeah. Oh, unlucky. There was this amazing Essendon team. Oh, bad luck. They had to have another week off. Filled with whiskey. <laughs> oh, yeah, Steve. They had to have a week off because there was a draw out at uh, Waverley. Oh, they had to go over to Perth for two. This time, the luck went our way, and we got it. So you're right, Barry. It does smell a little bit like beer. This, uh, does it? It does. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Why Back not? to where we belong, Jenny. I would. If I wanted, I'd be sitting there just... Yep. Those players that played in that That's game... That's a proper be... jug skull. I would be so proud if I brought this home to the players. I'd be just... Yep. Yeah. Just... You're proud it. now anyway. I like You this. do... <laughs> that You've done the best you can do with the role that you had. This is phenomenal. And for all these people, this, you've had so much great feedback. So this is a little celebration in itself. Can I say I'm very... Not proud is not the word. Just pleased with my position at this club and where I'm mm. at with this club. I know I'm the every man, everything man. I fill in the holes wherever is needed. Robo will go and fix it. That's fine by me. I'm happy to be that guy. A lot of people, um, because I've become familiar, mm. what's the old saying? Familiarity breeds contempt. I get a lot of that. I get a lot of people telling me exactly what they think of me and I have to put oh. up with that a lot. But on 1% of that, 99% of it is just glowing, brilliant stuff that I get from the supporters. And re mainly the comments are, thank you so much for doing what you do for our club. Yeah. Thank you so much for promoting our club. Thank you so much for believing in our club because um, it means so much to the supporters. That means so much to me. And it, it obviously I'm lucky that I have a job with the club. It's a job. Um, but you do go over and above for a lot of things and, I'm very happy with this position that I hold and um, thanks for coming on the ride with me this year, Davo. You know? No, mate, I loved it. It's the best part of my week. None of this would have happened without your setup here, this amazing yeah. setup you've got uh, and, and kicking my ass into gear as and well. Yeah, yeah, the motivation to get you to do it yeah. and and stay on. As soon as the cameras go on, you, you love it and you're great. And I, <laughs> no, I don't think Dave. it's the equipment. I think it's the production yeah. and it's the... The effort, so on. And it's the people turning up. If no one ever turned up, you would crack the shits and never do it. That's right. So I think this is where, this is a community yep. and that's what's important. I think in every realm of what we do, sporting clubs, businesses, everywhere, it's like you want to be part of a community and yeah. pretty good one when you get to have a trophy to celebrate your community at the end of the year. Do you yeah. know what we should do? Oh. We need to go back over all the shows oh. and not all of them, but... Oh. Don't Just go through who's been there from the start and has watched consistently every week. And oh, you know yeah. how you do that? Um, oh, you can give them like prizes for well, commitment. Prizes, yes. And 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 um, on, what do they call them? Honorary members or, you know. Oh, you want to have a so, hierarchy. Yeah. Well, well, when we get our mm. sponsors that are coming in, think fast for the moment. <laughs> That's really, I had a podcast about this. This is really interesting. Yeah. That's actually one of the topics we talked about. Whereas online, when you get online to something, there's no hierarchy. No, right. Everyone's just anyone and so anyone feels that they can be disrespectful or they can be whatever anyway i don't want to go off on a tangent yeah but your point there is about people that have stood the test of time yeah. should get more respect online it's, than others that haven't so like nikki nadia needs respect maddie nolan needs respect sylvia ladder ladder 
Yeah. Yeah. Needs respect. Sure. Uh, yes, you, Nikki. Absolutely. Highlight, highlight of the show for anyone that didn't see earlier in the year. Um, there was a marriage proposal highlight. between Nikki and Matt, was it? Yeah. yeah. Matthew Nolan and Nikki Naduzo. Yes. And I'm playing in the band for their yeah. wedding. That's right. And, and so they got married. Well, they got engaged. I keep saying they got married on the show. Well, they will be married on the show. You're coming. Oh, they, we could do a show from their wedding. That'd be funny. He's doing some videography at your work uh, wedding, Nikki. If he follows you home on the honeymoon, then it gets creepy. But before <laughs> that, that's okay. All oh, right. I You're actually can't. not employed to do it, but <laughs> he will have a camera. <laughs> Good on you, Barry. Thanks for sharing, he says. It was our absolute privilege and honor. Couldn't let this opportunity slip by without jumping on and, and talking yeah. about this superstar right here because that's the real deal. I'm going to get back to the streets. Yeah. Walking around as if I bloody well want it. Myself. Own it. <laughs> no, you have the ticket to Mel- you have the ticket to <laughs> Melbourne right now. I do. All of Melbourne. This is the key to the Can't city. Can't get freebies anywhere. You could. I'm getting anywhere. freebies. <laughs> you just turn up to the airport and go, excuse me, uh, can I get on that plane? And they'll be like, New York. Uh, off you go. Get out of the way. Yeah. Off I want go, a friend. Seat 1A and 1B will be here. <laughs> yeah. Can I please have one ticket for me and my friends? <laughs> make it two tickets. Actually, you make it two. We'll jump off. Thank yeah, you for it. joining us on yeah. Robbo and Davo, Robbo Live, whatever we call the show. Um, we are going to be back for a Christmas next party. week for a uh, yeah, Christmas party. We'll we'll have some eggnog and some whiskey and some We'll some have whiskey for sure. Whiskey we'll have music and gin. for sure. Music for sure. And I'll try my best to cut up a best of. Best of. Special guests. Yeah. Best of would be awesome. Just a best of. We did one of them and it was just people yelling. With Jeff Farmer like, Wizard! <laughs> that was great. Wizard! It will be a show not to be missed. Yes. We'll get a couple of guests on and uh, next week's going to be huge. We'll send you all some uh, reminders, all these wonderful people that jump on. You'll know when it's coming. Awesome. Okay. Till then. Bye. Turtles.